Now, 200, 300 years ago, the Oibo, the white man came with guns. Guns, eh? If you don't give, they kill you. They take you as slaves. They take your resources, minerals, gold, everything they take. Timber they take. Taking by force. That's scary. But do you know what's more scary than that? If they take you, if, you, if they take your money, you can take it back. If they take your animals, you can bring it back. If they take your resource, you can bring it back. If they even take your country, you can bring your country back. But you know one thing you cannot bring back? Your spirit. Your spirit. Spirit. If, if you lose your dignity, if you lose your pride, you're like a beggar, lazy. Now, let's think about taking and giving. Now, if they take, they take your resource, take your land, take everything. Now, you still have the spirit. You want to fight back. And some people, they fight and they take back their country. Independence. Yes, in Africa that happens. But if you give, if you give, everything just free. Yeah. They give you the road, they give you the school, they give you the hospital, they give you fertilizer, they give you seeds, they give you herbicide, they give you pesticides, they give you machines, everything they give you, give, give, give. And then your spirit has no more power. Oh, they're giving me, oh, give me more, give me more. You don't work, you don't work, you're lazy. They, they're going to give you anyway. So if they take, they cannot take your spirit. But if they give, your spirit is corrupt. They take your spirit. So we travel all these places, the people, they come asking for money, asking for gifts. There is no shame. There is no shame. So when we talk about PG, I said the people's group. This is number four. It is about becoming leaders. If you want to become leaders, leader is not about you're the boss, you're the big, you're big man, the oga, and people come ah, like this. That's not a leader. That's not a leader. A leader, a leader has the right spirit, strong, independent, smart spirit. That's the leader. Wisdom. And PG is about becoming that leader. You have the right spirit. So the people ready to work, work very hard, they are welcome. People who want to change, they are welcome. People who are committed, serious, very welcome. If you want to make sacrifice, very welcome. But if you come here, oh, there's something, something, uh, uh, something nice here, some gift, any money, do not come. Don't join. Uh, maybe, maybe 100 people came today, but... Uh, One minute more. Yeah. Only a small, small number of people is okay. Very committed people. Those people, we will first give training, and then we will connect you with other PGs in the country, even in other countries. And number three, Donald will help you, uh, not guarantee, help you with the distribution, the sales. Lastly, okay, my last word. Now, you, if you practice the farming method that I am teaching, I'm pretty sure your yield will go up, soil will get better, your farming cost will go down. You will benefit. And the people's group meeting will make you stronger and stronger. You will be more and more leader. And then now, you have to promise again. Your PG becomes successful, you have to go out make other PGs in other places. You go to your neighbor villages, neighbor communities, tell them about the people's group, train them the farming, help them organize the people's group. That is a promise. So this guy is the main man in Nigeria. So all the PGs in Nigeria goes to him.